I'm Mary Palmer Dargan and today I'm going to be putting out my leaf cutter bees. They're really adorable. They're like the size from my knuckle to my fingertip and you'll see them in just a minute. I'm a little worried about them because as a expectant mother of baby bees, I was waiting for these and the, I didn't get an email notification that they were on their way and I went to our post office box and there was the little box. So you see it's just a very lightweight box and I've just opened it up with a tiny knife because I'm kind of nervous about my baby bees. And there's an information sheet, and my friend Janet is gonna help me. So Janet, if you'll come over here and hold this for me. This talks about, come on and stand right here beside me. There we go. She's afraid she's gonna get. No, you're not, their bees don't, they don't sting. These are what's so interesting about these baby bees is they don't sting. They don't want to hurt you at all. And look at this. Oh, look at this, Janet. I've just opened it up. And there they are in like a little package. Look at that. Ah, look at little bitty leaf cutter bees are all sealed up in these packages. I have ah. no idea. Aren't they adorable? Well, they must be asleep and not ready to come out yet. So that makes me feel better. That's good. So I'm going to read the information. It says leaf cutter bee alert. These are incubated leaf cutter bees. They develop from pupa to adult bees should be nearly complete. We know how long it takes to develop them and we mail them to you just before they're finished developing. If a few of your leaf cutter bees have emerged from their cocoon, it's okay. Males will develop into larva first and emerge. This shows that they're healthy and strong and looking for a little loving. The remainder <laughs> of the bees will take a small amount of time to mature depending on ambient temperatures. If your daytime temperatures are in the 80s and CRs are in the 60s and 70s, then it won't take many days before they emerge. If in the 70s, then a bit longer. Do not subject the cocoons to direct sunlight for too long, as that will bake and kill your bees, and we don't want that to happen. No. And they're so precious, they're tiny. When, when they're ready, open the mesh leaf guardian bag, this is the leaf guardian bag, and place the open bag on top of or behind your nesting holes. And I'll show you where we put the nesting holes in just a minute. Please have a bit of patience. Your bees are healthy and are racing to the finish line. Your bee bays may emerge at different rates. Thanks for raising leaf cutter bees, and that's from Crown Bee Company. And we also got these neat things because we want to put them in nesting materials that they like. They nest, as you can see from this, in really tiny, tiny little capsules. That's about the same size as a valerian leaf stem. So I'm going to try to get some six millimeter valerian leaves stems and put them out by my nesting material so that they'll find them immediately and they'll know to go back there to make their own baby bees after they've had a little loving. 